Hey everybody, and welcome to T-Mobile G1 apps, news, and reviews, and all that. Today I have the 1.6 donut update, as you can tell. And I'll get to this in a minute. First up, I want to show you the browser. The browser has not changed except where the buttons are, as you can tell. It's a whole lot smoother. It goes in faster. The buttons, as you can tell, the, the buttons for the zoom in, zoom out used to be in the middle. Now they're off to the side. But that, the little magnifying glass button, it used to be off to where this, the plus magnifying plus sign used to be. So lots different. You can see it's a whole lot smoother in scrolling. And when you go home, I can just do that and it goes straight home. Same thing. The music player did not change at all as you can tell right there. And so yeah, something that hasn't changed yet. And that, you know how it says, used to say clear data or whatever? Now it just says clear. I don't know if you can see that, but it says clear. Okay? And if I click that, it clears it. But I want to show you the orientation now. The orientation has gotten a whole lot faster. And they fixed it so you don't have to do that and hold it as straight as possible. They fixed it. See, look. I have to hold it at an angle now. And it switches. It dims in, dims out faster. It's way faster in response. Same thing that's changed. This is the universal search. Same thing's changed about the keyboard. It's a whole lot faster now. See, watch. See how whenever you're used to be typing fast, the keys didn't really show up? Now, no matter what you do, the keys do show up. And as you can see, Universal Search Bar is pretty cool. I like it. So, yeah. This is not a widget I bought on the Android market. It actually came with the phone. Okay. It's called Power Control. Power Control is really cool because once you do that, it brings up a power control thing like I already have. So it turns off your Wi Fi if you don't want Wi Fi. If you turn touch it again, it turns it back on Wi-Fi. You can tell. It tells you with that green light. Then it tells you with all the brightness too. That's as bright as you can go. It's as dim as you can go. And that's as that you can go. So yeah, the clock has gone fast, smoother too, as you can tell. The, just moving the widgets around, they're smooth. Okay. So yeah, that's the major differences but a whole lot of people want to see the new camera so here it is just tap and hold the camera button or on the G1 anyway oh hold on hold on hold on just hold on. here it is here's the new camera it's pretty cool isn't it if I want to touch a picture I just take it it all the zooms and takes the picture says right there into that thumbnail if I want to switch to video I don't have to click menu anymore and say tap switch to video all I have to do is grab that little thing and just tow it down and it switches automatically kind of like iPhone except not let me show you again it's really fast now no waiting so and you can do this in any application you can tell see watch I'm in the browser let's say if I see something I can just always go and hurry and goes into that if I want to hurry up take a picture instead of video automatically in response to that and if I want to go back to the browser I just tap and hold the home button and go right back to the browser great multitasking features Contacts and dialer have not changed at all, as far as I know. The music's 
thing has not changed at all. As you can tell. As you can tell the music banks has not changed at all. It has it does slide down a whole lot smoother now. The oh date the bar. But the calendar widget has not changed at all either. Okay. The major updates are the camera and the Android market, which I'm about to show you now. Oh, hold on, I clicked something. Okay. Oh, that's a screenshot. Let me show you the screenshots first since I'm here. I can just either do that and flicker that way and that way. See? I don't even need to touch the arrows anymore, but only in the marketplace where you can just do that. It's pretty cool. Kind of like iPhone, but not. <laughs> Here's the new market. That's what it looks like when you're in the app. Comments. Here is the main menu. I can go either go to apps real fast, games, and downloads. Or I can don't even have to click menu, click search anymore. I can just all of a sudden tap that search thing now and brings up that and go. But the and the search bar and everything has gone different. As you can tell. The go bar on that used to be black. Now it's just used to be. Now it's just all this white interface. Now they're kind of going with the iPhone OS, but not really. As you can tell, it used to be a weird gray search bar. Not anymore. And that's the major updates for the G1 so far. Do you have anything that you want to see on the G1? The new donut update. Just comment on this on uh, below. Comment below. And leave me what you want to see on Donut OS, okay? Bye.